face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And this time, we're going to look upon two Pokemons that you guys really want to see on the course on the Twitter world, which was, of course, Slowbro versus Slowking. Now, granted, these two Pokemon has been on par against one another for quite some time. They're doing things a lot similar, but of course, they spike in different things, but do share the same base total. And their movesets are actually quite replicas against one another without, of course, a few moves. But all in all, they're very, very clear good Pokemon that are very, very hard to, of course, cut asunder, which one particularly could be better. And I did a video way back when I talked about how Slowking wasn't necessarily that much worse than Slowbro, and this amount of chance of actually reaching out to all of you guys and talking about how great Slowking is, but also how great Slowbro is. And hopefully in the end of this video, we will know who was really better. So the first one we're going to do is, of course, looking at their the course typing, then ability, then stat total, because, of course, that is where the difference decided the most. Now, as far as typing goes, uh, Psychic and Water is not necessarily the best defensive kind of typing, mainly because Water typing in general are a typing that does soak a lot of hits really, really well, and Psychic didn't necessarily help that defensive typing that much, it actually just gave it more weaknesses. While having that said, I actually get a lot more resistances due to it. It actually has 6 resistances and 5 weaknesses. You know, of fighting, fire, ice, psychic, steel, and water. Mainly, of course, special attacking ones, but also a few physical ones that are born with. Weaknesses is a bit more varied, where of course, bug is firmly, of course, mainly offensive. And then, of course, we have dark electric ghosts and grass, which usually are specially oriented. But yeah, there are a lot of weaknesses to watch out for, and then, as I stated here, it does keep all the weaknesses that Psychic has and all the weaknesses that Water has, but does, of course, get resistances at that too. But the type of combination, not the strongest, and are definitely something that could push these type combinations back, though Slowbro and Slowking stands up because they're just that defensive to hold on to a very, very tough matchup no matter what. Now, if we're looking through, of course, their abilities, they actually, of course, share the exact same abilities, which is, you know, of course, they do their same type of Pokemon in the end. But Oblivion's known tempo, not that impressive. Not gonna go into much uh, about them because they are very, very niche and compared to Regenerator, which of course is hidden ability, it's definitely one of the abilities you wanna use. Regenerator really pushes the boundary of these Pokemon is able to do because you can run the likes of Assault Vest and still get recovery and switch out. Sloking and Slowbro are the premier Regenerator Pokemon. The other ones would be possibly Among Us and of course Tangrowth. But these two dudes, their massive HP stats that they of course share, have all the great possibilities of pulling these off and are able to come out of a tough situation with still recovery intact and being of course these two Pokemon are mainly bulky, the regenerator really really pushes upon what these Pokemon are able to stay in against. So now to the meat of the dialogue which of course is where do they differentiate when it comes to stats. And yeah, quick rundown is of course that you have both 95 in uh, of course HP and 75 in attack and 100 in special attack and 30 in speed. So, as stated previously, they're very, very good Trick Room users because they naturally are that slow, and the special attack is mainly what these Pokemon are used for. Even though it gets Billy Trump, uh, it's definitely something that, since it is slow to <laughs> really, really slow, is not able to pull that off really, really properly. But they do spike in different things. Slowbro clearly spikes in defense at 110 and has special defense on 80, while Slowking is the opposite, with of course spiking in special defense with 110 and has the regular defense of 80. So a quick rundown of what that really means before we even go into the removal pool is that Slower of course can take defensive hits much much better. And of course Slow King, due to of course his special defense, can take special attacks clearly better. And it's important to remember this because usually these Pokemon are known for their soaking capabilities. And uh, Slower has always been an OU Pokemon for since forever really and definitely since the Landorus dominated Generation 6. Being weak to actually of course Bug is definitely not something you want to be at but Slowbro is able to take a U-turn, it's able to take a possible knockoff too. While it doesn't take Electric Ghost and Grass type all that well, it does resist a few very, very common traits in the highest tier. Slow thing primarily weak to that, but does resist Electric Ghost and Grass much, much better due to the usually are oriented special category. Uh, having that said, OU Metal looked a lot differently back in OU, where it was definitely a primer thing to actually be able to soak that, but as stated, things got a lot, lot differently, and they both actually got categorized in RU as of now. 
So it's very clear to remember that, that yes, there are some issues with these mods, but Slowbro saw a pretty big riddle way back when in Generation 6, but now, of course, is pushed back in RU due to the meta actually being ever evolving, and the weaknesses is now just as prominent as they ever was really for both of these Pokemon really. So as you guys probably already figured, they do are able to stay in against a different matchup and do different job with that in mind though. With that said, we're not going to go over specifically which one they win against, but talking more about their move pool, because as stated, they do share a lot of things, and I mean a lot of things in common, but they all have a few moves that does differentiate, and before we're going into what difference them, I have to talk about what these guys really can do, because they are really, really broad move, or Pokemon with broad, broad move pool, definitely looking something like, of course, Generation 1's Nido King and Queen, where we have a lot of variety on its hyping that primarily are weak to everything. So, this is going to be a long rundown basically, because these two Pokemon of course learns a lot of things in common as stated, but of course they do learn viable things, I really want to state that, they actually learn, they're all, you know, jack of all traits really, with of course getting disabled, psychic side shock of course, uh, then we have of course the ice beam, uh, gets Earthquake, Shadow Ball, Brick Break, Fire Blast and Flame Thrower, Focus Blast if you want to utilize that, Thunder Wave to be able to of course capitalize on his low speed, Dragon Tail, Cross Nod, and of course Surf and Scald. And outside of that, due to of course the new evolutions move, it actually gets Belch, which, trust me on this, due to the C move, Belch gets pretty darn scared at 180 Poison type attack. Water and Poison is a very very good general combination, being able to push the bond with Belch yeah, that's actually kind of cool, and same thing with Fuse's side, but of course a 200 base power move now. Shadow Psyche at 200 base power from these two Pokemon, yeah, that's gonna sting. And outside of that, they actually have a very, very varied uh, move pool from previous generation that definitely stand out, and that is actually this move, of course, an offensive move pool, being of course Dream Punch, Aqua Tail, if you want to utilize that. It gets Icy Wind, Iron Defense, Recycle, Signal Beam, Skill Swap, Trick, uh, Focus Punch, yeah, I want to utilize that, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Clearly, just had I mentioned. Uh, and of course, counter and um, psych missiles. You can even go about to have a more defensively varied set. And of course, they're both known, of course, the toxic possible capabilities. But of course, they are bulky enough to stay in. So, with that said, what sets these two apart when it comes to differentiating in Moopool? Well, here's where things get a little bit ugly because Slowbro has one edge, it gets withdraw. That's really all it gets over Slowking. Slowking gets two other moves that Slowbro does not get, with of course Nasty Plot and Power Gem. But it should be noted that even though if Slowbro gets of course these two extra moves, because Withdrawal is not gonna do anyone really that happy. It's it's quite clear that it's not <laughs> it's not gonna be utilized when you give release that of course are in defense. I really think that stands out to most of these two. But Nasty Plot and Power Gem is, as stated, not the most versatile move. While, well, of course, offensively pressures Nasty Plot does push the boundaries a little bit, but it do, do both get Calm Mind and Anisha. And that's the thing, though, even though Slowbro does kind of lack in special defense, it is able to actually bulk itself off fairly well with Calm Mind or Amnesia. But as stated, so can, of course, Slowbro with Iron Defense. So it's very, very different to kind of talk about these two and try to see which one really, really just spikes better than the other. And I think it's gonna come down to this. I think Slowbro is so well-rounded and so well-used in OU, or even now, actually, even though it is in RU. And it is because it's able to take a few of those defensive hits that are so common, that really, really are pushing Slowking down. It's not able to take a knockoff, for example. It's definitely not able to deal with for example, Beedrill or anything like that, Mega Beedrill that is. There's a very, very clear indication what Slowking definitely can't stay in on, and therefore is not able to be just as well-rounded as, of course, Slowbro is in that category. And of course, as a Salt Vester user, Slowbro is the one that definitely are worse than having a Salt Vest, but it also is one of those that can stay in and get out and actually regenerate. While it doesn't offensively get a build on that, it's able to pull that off really nicely, while Slowking just shuts down anything with Assault Vest, because you aren't able to kill it, because its special defense are just that high. So, as stated previously, we're going to talk about the matchup and what which Pokemon does well, well, well best overall, because as stated here, Slowbro is the better one in OU, but it has changed somewhat since then, and with the Skull Nerf, it's even worse. The only reason Slowbro necessarily are now in OU is because of its mega form, not 
its individual stand of its regular form. So the more I think about it and the more I want to push the boundaries for it, I really have to be more consequential and see which one does better overall. And Slow King is able to deal with those special typings very, very well. He's even able to trick room nasty plot. And with the broad moon pool, he's able to get an overall neutral um, neutral hits on everything, even with just two moon slots if he's forced to. So with that in mind, I would say that Slow King does spike on the things that matter at the meta and Lee plays right now. Because while Slowro is specially, of course, forced out due to the matchup that could force it with, of course, Electric Ghost and Grass, Slow King, due to its massive special defense, is not only able to stay in, it could slack off, recover, and keep on coming. And Slow King just have that essence with it that, with, of course, the shift in and meta being so vastly different, Slow King has some more relevance in a higher tier, such as, of course, Yuyu where Slowpro at the moment kind of struggles and I really have to give the edge to Slowking and it is mainly because it's able to do things a little bit more than Slowpro are. But it should be heavily noted that these two are so similar that I would have been fine giving these a tie and even if we talk about the highest tier and Landers being so tough in the meta it's very clear that Slowbro is overall the better Pokemon in that category. It's able to definitely defensively shake more things offensively towards it. And of course with knockoff in mind, it's probably not one of those monsters so it hits really really well. Slow King just has another kind of playstyle on bond to it. It's definitely like Slowbro is able to soak hits, just not necessarily as well. But it's able to thrive in the matchup and can actually set up much much safer because it has a very, very clear weakness category, which oriented more focus on, of course, specially oriented damage, which means that Slow King is able to actually withstand a lot more punishment with the physical attackers, of course, gone. Having that said, the reason I think Slowbro never really excelled in Yu Yu in previous generation was because Mega Beedrill was just such a force to be reckoned with, and Sl Mega Beedrill is actually just as threatening for Slowbro as it is for actually Slow King. But Slow King definitely fell for it, and it didn't have a relevance in the higher tier, making it less less viable. And if we do to compare with one another, the edge to Slow King is mainly because it's able to do a lot more against a lot more things. And that has to be worth something, and this is why I'm making this video in the end. But as stated, these two Pokemon are really really good, and even if I point out which one I think is better, I can make the same argument for making Slowbro better. But for my money, Slowking is the one knocking this out of the park. So of course, with that said, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon do you think is the better between these two? And as I stated here, I will not shy away from making Slowbro the better one either, even though I prefer Slowking. I might as well easily see Slowbro just as effective. It's all to prefer personal preferences as ever, really. And this is probably the closest matchup I've done so far. And uh, even at that, I'm not entirely sure. And <laughs> this will be the result. Given, of course, which day I have, I'm not going to take that away from anyone. But yeah, of course, with that said, make sure to check out the next video where we will see these guys.